This DVD has been put together by the Pain Management Physiotherapy Team at University College London Hospitals NHS Foundation Trust. It is intended to be used in conjunction with the advice given to you by members of the Pain Management Team here. There are a number of suggestions we would recommend to help you get the most from your stretching. These include moving to the point at which you feel the first signs of tension and holding the stretch at this point rather than pushing into increased pain. We also recommend that you hold your stretches for approximately 15 seconds. It may be helpful to focus on your breathing, taking comfortable, relaxed breaths throughout the stretch. If you notice that your face is tightening up or that you are grunting or tensing your muscles, this may suggest that you are pushing too far. We start with the stretches which you can do in standing. Firstly, you are going to bend your neck as if looking towards the ground. Move slowly and stop when you first start to notice tightness. Then bring your attention to your breathing as you hold this position. After four to five breaths, you bring your head back up to the middle and then slowly move as if you are looking up to the ceiling. Remember again to move slowly and to stop when you first notice the tightness. Hold this position as you breathe in and out normally. After approximately 15 seconds, gently bring your head back to the middle. Next, bringing the right ear towards the right shoulder, moving slowly again, stopping when you start to first notice the tightness, and checking your breathing, which should remain comfortable and relaxed. Bring your head back to the middle and then slowly move to the other side, again stopping when you first notice the tightness. Sometimes it is interesting to notice any differences between the left side and the right side as you do these stretches. Then bring your head back to the middle and next move to look over your shoulder. Again, moving slowly and stopping when you first start to notice the tightness. Holding this position as you breathe in and out normally for approximately 15 seconds. Then bringing your head back to the middle, slowly move to the other side. After 15 seconds, bring your head back to the middle. Gently lifting your arms as if you are bringing them up over your head. Remember, only move as far as is comfortable for you, stopping when you first start to notice any signs of tightness. If you feel it is too heavy to lift your arms in this way, you may find it easier to use a wall to support your hands and gently crawl up the wall. We now bring the arms down and this time raising the right arm, gently bring your hand towards the crown of your head until the point that feels comfortable for you. Do not forget to check in with your breathing as you do the stretch. And then bring your arm back down and do the same thing on the other side. Again you may notice differences between the left and right. This is not unusual. You may also notice that you are tempted to push one side as far as the other can go. This is not necessary and can often cause increases in the pain on the restricted side. Next movement is to open out the palms and fingers and just move your forearms as if bringing your hands away from each other. When you start to notice the first signs of tightness, hold this position as you gently breathe in and out. Now we are going to bring the palms of the hands together and slowly lower the forearms until you start to notice the stretch which may be anywhere in the hands, the wrists or the forearms. Again, just observing where it is that you feel this stretch and checking in with your breathing, which should remain relaxed and comfortable. Next stretch is to bring the backs of the hands together, stopping when you start to notice tightness. If at any time the stretch feels too much for you, move back a little bit and release some of the tightness.
Now we are going to gently grab the thumbs with your fingers, keeping the elbows straight, slowly bending the wrists away from you until you start to notice a gentle stretch. Hold this position for about 15 seconds whilst checking in with your breathing. We are now going to move on to the spine by starting with side bending towards the right hand side. Gently moving your right arm down the side of your right thigh, stopping as soon as you start to feel the tightness come on and holding this position while you breathe in and out normally. Remember, you only move as far as is comfortable for you. We then come back to the middle and move to the other side. Again, only going as far as is comfortable for you. Remember that you may not be able to move as far on one side as you can on the other, and this is not unusual. Coming back to the middle, we are going to put the arms in front of you and gently turn the body to the right side, stopping when you start to notice the tightness, perhaps noticing where it is that you feel this tightness as you do the twisting movement. You are the person in control of these stretches. Only move as far as is comfortable for you. And now we come back to the middle and gently move to the other side. Again, you may notice differences between the right and left. This is normal. Remember to keep breathing normally while you do the stretch. We are going to bend forward slowly. You may allow your hands to slide down your legs if that feels comfortable for you, or you may choose to use a chair or table for support. Move slowly forwards and stop as soon as you start to feel the tightness. Don't worry if you can't move as far as Rebecca does here. Only move as far as is comfortable for you. Then, slowly coming back up, we are now going to move in the opposite direction. You may choose to use your hands to support the small of your back, or you may choose to do this leaning against a wall for support. Again, do what feels right for you. Move slowly, stopping when you start to feel the tightness, and remember to breathe normally as you do the movement. Now we move on to some hip stretches. This is a lunge stretch. Stepping forward with one foot, keeping the feet facing forwards and flat on the ground, the back knee straight, you slowly bend the forward knee. You may find it helpful to do this with your arms resting against a wall or a chair for support, but you can do it freestanding if you feel steady enough. You then repeat the same movement on the opposite side, stopping when you start to notice the tightness and focusing on your breathing as you do this stretch. If you notice your breathing becoming laboured, this may be a sign that you are pushing too far. Remember that you can come back a little bit and do what is comfortable for you. The next stretch is slightly different in that this time you bend the back knee and you should notice a slightly different sensation as you do this stretch. Again, only move as far as is comfortable and if it feels okay, you can use a chair or a table or a wall for support. Now swap to the other side and don't forget to check in with your breathing which should be comfortable and relaxed. This next stretch you might find easier to do by holding onto a wall or table. You bend your knee and if you feel that you're able to, you can hold onto your ankle. If you can't bend your knee this far, you might find it easier to allow your leg to rest on a chair, but ask one of the physiotherapists on the team about this. You then swap to the other side, again holding for approximately 15 seconds, making sure that your breathing stays relaxed and comfortable. If you notice that your breathing is changing, this may be a sign that you are pushing too far. Let go of the stretch a little, or use a chair or table for support. We are now going to move to stretches that you could do in the sitting position. So we are going to start with a turning stretch. You can use your arms to support and guide if you like. You slowly turn to the right, 
trying to move slowly so that you stop when you start to feel the tightness. You might notice that your breathing becomes a little more restricted in this position, but you should be able to breathe comfortably. Then come back to the middle and move to the other side. Again, you may notice that you can move easier towards one side than the other. This is often the case with long-term pain. With practice and over time, you may notice that this becomes more even. Next movement we are going to do is a side bend, letting your arms slowly move towards the ground, stopping when you start to feel the tightness, focusing on your breathing and holding for approximately 15 seconds. We then move to the other side. Now we're going to move forward. You can use your arms for support on your lap if this feels more easy for you. The important thing is to move slowly and stop when you start to feel the tightness. Again, remembering that you don't have to push as far as Rebecca is doing here. Only move until you start to feel the tightness and hold that position. In this next stretch, we are extending backwards, letting your arms move out to the sides if that feels comfortable for you, and gently arching your back, stopping when you start to notice the tightness, making sure that you are able to breathe comfortably. Now we're going to move on to some hip stretches. Gently raising your knee, using your hands to support the knee and not to push your knee beyond a comfortable stretch at the hip. This is just showing you the same stretch in a different angle. Holding the stretch as you check in with your breathing, we now swap to the other side. Again, using your hands to support the knee but not to push your knee beyond a comfortable stretch. Next we are going to do a cross leg stretch. Letting the ankle rest on the opposite knee, you just let your knee drop out to the side. Stopping when you start to notice the first signs of tightness and holding that position as you breathe normally for 15 seconds. Then swap to the other side. If you find that you are unable to raise your leg high enough so that you can get your ankle onto your knee, well then you can slowly and gently slide your ankle up your shin and stop at the point where you start to notice the tightness coming on. Next stretch is similar to the last. You raise the knee and this time using your hand to guide your knee to the opposite shoulder, you stop when you start to notice the tightness. And if it feels easier, you can cross your leg for this stretch also, but you don't have to. The important things are to move slowly and to stop when you notice the first signs of tightness. You then swap to the other side, again using your opposite hand to gently guide your knee towards the opposite shoulder. We now move on to some hamstring stretches and also a movement for the sciatic nerve. Gently straighten out your knee, stopping when you first start to notice the tightness come on. You may not be able to stretch your knee as far as Rebecca is doing here, and you might also find that you have to let your heel rest on the floor. This is okay. Only move as far as is comfortable for you. Then do the stretch on the opposite leg. Again, you may notice that you cannot move as far on one side as you can on the other. This is normal with long-term pain. Over time, you may find that they become more even, but it takes time. We are now going to move on to stretches which you can do lying on your back. This first stretch, with your knees bent, you gently bring one knee towards the chest using your hands to support you. 
Check in with your breathing, which should remain relaxed and comfortable. If you notice any shaking, this may be because you are pushing the stretch too far. Come back a little bit. You now swap to the other side. Again, noticing where it is that you feel this stretch, and perhaps noticing if it feels different from left to right. Remember to check in with your breathing while you do these stretches. The next stretch is with the feet together, gently rolling the knees to one side and stopping as soon as you start to notice the tightness. You may not be able to move anywhere near as far as Rebecca can here, only go as far as is comfortable for you and stop when you start to notice the tightness. Come back to the middle and slowly move to the other side, stopping when you start to feel the tightness come on. Again, in this position your breathing may be slightly restricted, but you should be able to breathe comfortably. If not, come back a little bit. Now we are going to do a shoulder arm stretch. Just moving your arms and hands up above your head, using pillows for support if that is more comfortable for you, with a headrest if you're doing it in bed, and just hold this position as you focus on your breathing. and then come back. Next we are going to do a hip stretch. Just letting the knee drop out to the side with the heels resting on the mattress or the floor or the mat. Checking with your breathing and just notice where it is that you feel the stretch. Come back to the middle and do the same stretch on the other side. If it is too uncomfortable, know that you can bring the stretch back a little bit to find the point that is comfortable for you regardless of how small this movement may be. The next stretch is to gently walk your feet out to the sides as you keep your knees together. This is also a stretch for the hips and the muscles around the hips. Stop when you start to feel the tightness Just check in with your breathing before returning back to the middle. The next stretch is for the spine. You bend one knee up and let it move across the body using your hand for support. Only go as far as is comfortable for you and make sure that your breathing remains comfortable and relaxed. We then do the same thing on the other side. And now we come back to the middle. The next stretch we're going to do is a cross leg stretch. Just letting the knee drop out to the side, stopping when you start to feel the first signs of tightness and holding the position as you breathe normally in and out for 15 seconds. Then swap to the other side. The next stretch is a more advanced version of the last one. This time, if you feel comfortable, you can bring the knee that was resting on the mat up towards your chest. Stop when you start to feel any signs of tightness, and if you already felt a stretch by just crossing the leg, then you don't need to lift your foot up like this. If it feels okay and comfortable for you, then you can do this on both sides. and now release the stretch. Finally, you're going to do a full body stretch by just bringing the arms up above the head and pointing the toes away from you. Just taking a moment to notice where in your body you feel the stretch as you lie flat now and noticing how your breathing is in this position.
We're now going to move on to some stretches lying on your stomach. The first stretch, just lying flat on your stomach, you're going to come onto your forearms and extend or arch your back away from the mat, only as far as is comfortable for you. And hold this position in a gentle stretch for about 15 seconds. Next, you're going to come up onto your hands and knees and gently bring your bottom towards your feet if it feels comfortable and you're able to do it. You can slowly slide your hands away from you so that you are stretching your shoulders, your spine, your hips and your knees. Now we come into a four point kneeling position or a table position. You're going to start arching your back, dropping your stomach towards the mat, lifting your head up as if to look out in front of you or up towards the ceiling if you feel comfortable and able to do that. Remembering to stop when you first start to feel the tightness and focusing on your breathing. And the opposite position is to arch the back as if you're moving your stomach away from the mat, letting your head bow down, stopping when you start to notice the tightness. You can alternate between these two positions in a gently rhythmic movement if it feels comfortable for you.